Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to load our product dimension, which is also a SCD type 2 dimension. We did our customer dimension load in the previous video. If you have not watched that video, I would recommend you to go back and watch that video first. To load product dimension, we have the product source file, which is product underscore runDate.csv. We have all the columns mentioned and we'll load the data into the product dimension, which is SCD type 2, which also have the mandatory audit columns, effective start date, end date, active flag, insert date, and update date. We will do all the necessary transformations that are required to load the product source file into the product dimension. As usual, our run date is configured for full load. The value of the run date is 20.22.0101. Let's go ahead and validate the data for product source file. We'll go into data sets, product, and we'll see the product full load file. It has all the necessary and relevant columns that are required for our data load. I have also placed the same file in the landing directory of product in our AWS S3 bucket. As you can see, the file is present in the landing directory. For product, we have three notebooks created landing, staging, and dimension, which will load the data in the respective layers for product. The load for product is almost as similar as we did for customer in last video. So there is almost negligible change between the two loads. We can quickly run through all the three notebooks to find out those changes and run the whole load process. I am into the product landing notebook. We have the product file name mentioned here and the landing directory. We will read the file from here and we will load the data in the delta table in append mode. We'll write the required job control logs and we will also generate the simlink manifest file. For staging, we will read the product landing table. We will load the data based on the max timestamp for product staging table. We will dedupe the data and we will add the necessary audit columns that are required for a CD type table, which includes effective start date, end date, active flag. And we will also do the necessary transformation for the columns for product dimension. In the end, we will write the product table in the mode of override in the staging layer. Finally, update the job control table and generate the simlink manifest file. Finally, in the product dimension table, we will use the staging table to read the data. Once the data is read, we will use UUID UDF to generate the surrogate key, which is the row width column for product dimension. We will also generate the history record and timestamp, active flag, and update date, which will be required to update the history records for product dimension. As usual, for SCD type 2, we will check whether it is a full load. If it's a full load, we will delete and vacuum the dimension table. Then we will update the history records based on the natural key, which is product ID, and we'll check for active flag equals to 1. Once we get the history record, we'll update the effective end date, active flag, and update date for the history records, which are changed in our source. Then we will write all the records that we are getting after dropping the history end, active flag, and update column. Once this is done, we'll update the job control log and we'll also generate the required simlink manifest file. As usual, I have created one notebook to run all the three notebooks one by one. Let's run all the three layers of product dimension one by one. First, we'll load the product landing layer. Data load for the landing layer is complete. The landing file is archived and we have simlink manifest file generated. Let's trigger the staging load as well. The staging load is also complete. We have simlink manifest file generated. Let's load the data into the final layer, which is the dimension layer. Load for product dimension is also complete. We have 14 records written into the layer, which is equal to the number of records that we had in our landing file. 
the symlink manifest file is also generated. Let's validate the data. As you can see, we have row width, which is the surrogate key, product ID, product name, brand type, flavor, size, price, and expiration date. Other than that, we have the required audit columns, which are the effective start date, effective end date, active flag, run date, insert date, and update date. All columns are populated properly. Let's stop the Spark session. Today we completed the load for product dimension, which was a SCD type 2 dimension. In the next session, we will load our sales fact, which will be loaded using the autos data. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.